Good evening, Central Indiana, and welcome to Porch Time, live from JTH Construction Studio, where it just got a whole lot better looking in here right now, thankfully, and, and Corey's not here to help out, so it's myself and Nikki Walls is in studio with us tonight. We're happy to have her. Uh, she's got a lot of things to discuss about the first family success. Hope I said that right. Family first. Success. Family first success. Close enough. I was close enough. <laughs> I already screwed up. See you guys tomorrow. Anyway, please like and share this. Spread the information. This There's going to be some good stuff coming out of this tonight. And um, it's not our normal Hour of Hope show, but it's going to, it's it's faith-based. Can I say that? Um, Somewhat. I, I don't know that youth first necessarily is, but we can spin uh, we, that. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> Real quick, I want to say thank you to my sponsors, American Basement Solutions, Larry Ralph. Um, there's going to be a little tie-in to Larry uh, on this tonight. Um, Wellsprings, Bob Goodrum, he does a lot of good work down there with the homeless situation here in the community. Findhelp.org, it's another site that does a hello there, brain chills. Natasha, how you doing, dear? By the way, the chili was delicious. Findhelp.org, they do a lot of good for people in need. Not just money, but all sorts of situations, domestic, you name it. Get on that site and look around. They do some wonderful things. Uh, Wayman's Furniture Appliance Mattress, we're happy to have Wayman's as a sponsor. They were dealing with some COVID, but I think they're back up and running now. Stop in there, see Mark. Tell him you saw his ad here on Porch Time. Sense Comfort Systems keeps it nice and warm in here tonight. You good, Nikki? Is it good? Yeah. It's oh good. yeah. And in the summer, we try to freeze Rob Helms out, so that'll be coming up soon. Bland and Boys Lawn Care. It'll be springtime before you know it, regardless of what the groundhog said. And you'll need your yard looking good. Get a hold of Larry and his sons. Reps Fitness. Lord knows I need to go there about seven days a week, but somehow I miss it. Because I'm too worried about going to Cedar Creek and Drinking the Creek Concert Series. I think that's it for now. Oh, and I, I keep forgetting because we don't have it up, but um, Fathom Fathom Real Estate with Teresa Mesmer. I probably butchered that. She'll, she'll yell at me later. But we'll get her ad up here eventually um, and get her involved with the program. <sighs> I love our sponsors, every one of them. So, that being said. Yes. We have a unique individual in town in studio tonight. She has a lot to say. She has an amazing history for even such a young age. You're not above 25. Can I discuss that? I am. Oh. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> I make my kids do the math. The kids at school, they oh, have dude. to do math to try to figure out how old I am. That's funny. Yeah. Well, she's right around that age. We won't dig too deep. But um, introduce yourself a little bit, Nikki, and tell us what you do and... Uh, I know you got history of going out of the country and interns in Jamaica and yes. all sorts of fun stuff. So I am Nikki Walls. I am raised in Morgan County, born and raised. I graduated from Martinsville High School and I went away. I was going down south, further warm <laughs> as I could. I know Kentucky <laughs> might not be considered a south to There's everyone. No beaches but in Kentucky, though. No, so. <laughs> but I was trying. Mm -hmm. um, so I went down to college um, at Kentucky Christian University, and I fell in love with social work while I was there. I just really have had a passion for helping others uh, my entire life. Um, if you're friends with me on Facebook lately, I, you've probably seen me post a lot about, um, the homeless population in Indianapolis that I work with. So I guess like contributing social work a lot back to them. Um, that is really why I got into social work. Um, Maurice Young that just passed away, he's like a huge homeless advocate downtown Indy. And, um, so he kind of propelled me and pushed me toward social work and then, while I was at college in Kentucky, I was presented the opportunity to do a behavior study at an orphanage in Jamaica. So, wow. yeah, that was the best experience of my life. Um, Before you get into that, yes. at any point in time, your senior, junior year of high school, did you think in less than two, three years, I'll be in an orphanage in Jamaica? Oh, no. Especially if you've met my dad, there's yeah, you, you no heard that. It's Tom Wall, live wire here in town. Great guy. He's bailed us out a bunch of times. Um, and yeah, I know Tom, and I'm like, there's no way. Yeah. It's actually pay him off for that. So. <laughs> yeah, there's no way I ever thought that. Um, but it just it was like one thing after another. I know um, 
going back to the faith base, um, there was one night I was in my dorm uh, right before I went and I was like, you know, I'm I'm leaving it soon and I don't have the funds. So if it doesn't come tomorrow, I'm not going. And then I woke up and, or not even woke up, I went down to dinner and I checked my mailbox that night and I had all kinds of money in there that paid for the next like four trips. Really? Yeah. So it was definitely- With no idea this was going to happen. No, 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 no idea. So it there was you go. a thousand percent a God thing that that just like lined up. Um. So yeah, that I really had a passion for kids through mm-hmm. that experience as well. And um, the behavioral challenges that they go through. And so I really actually struggled coming home. I did not want to leave Jamaica, not just because of the weather. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. What was the average there uh, temperature? You were there in the late winter. Yeah. And so and it was winter, like, 70s? Uh, 80s 80s yeah oh, yeah which is man i couldn't handle great. that <laughs> no that's great for me but but get into it because i know you weren't sitting on the beach no, you were up no, in the no. mountains yes i was taking care of about 30 uh jamaican kids uh along with their pod moms who um are jamaican staff that are mm-hmm. in that help take care as well um and i did that for a semester uh before i came back so yeah wow yeah, it was challenging, but it was great. But you did get to go to the beach once a week on Sundays. It was beach day for the orphanage, yes. and you guys got to go. Yes, it was beach day every Sunday. They would have church, and then we would pack up um, some sandwiches, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and the kids would get ready, and then we would head down um, to the beach, down the mountain to the beach, and just have a whole day there. It's great. Now, and I'm, I'm digging a little bit on this and kind of off topic, but a lot of things we take for granted, they don't. Oh, don't yeah. even know about. Yeah. I'm really about to expose myself here, but there's actually a, a picture of me with some of the kids on a bench. And my mom was like, oh, you, did you guys just get back from swimming? And I was like, no, why? And she was like, oh, your your hair's wet. And I was like, oh, that's that's grease. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, we, we did not have access to water um, a lot of the time. So our showers were like quick showers, no time to wash hair. I was down in that part of the world in Panama many years ago. Yeah. And um, people have no idea the heat and humidity. I mean, <laughs> central Louisiana was hot. Texas is hot. Florida's hot. But the humidity, when you're close sitting, living mm-hmm. that close to the ocean, mm-hmm. um, it would get hot, 115. Mm-hmm. A storm would roll in off the ocean, and it would rain buckets, mm-hmm. and then it would get even more hot. And oh, yeah. And that's... That's the way they lived down there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But you were up in the mountains. The weather was a little different or no? About the same. It was about the same, but... Tropical? Yeah. Yeah. It was harder to have resources like we would have if we were in town. So we would lose power a lot. So then no fans either. Um, <laughs> so it was... That would be real hot. I could go on a diet there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sweat diet. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you have an interesting path to get you... Now you work here in town. Yes. At the local school corporation. Yes. So after I came back from Jamaica, my parents let me land at their house while I figured out what I was doing. And um, I tried, um, I guess when I came back, I I stayed there with them for a while um, and I got my master's and then I decided to um, work for, I was working for a company that would provide services to families involved with child protective services. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I was approached uh, by some people that were working with the Kendrick Foundation, uh, and they said, hey, we're trying to put social workers in um, schools in Martinsville and in Ellettsville, actually, at the time. Um, so they said I should apply. So I I did, uh, thinking, eh, I don't know, like, I'm, I'm not experienced in this, but I would love to work in a school setting. I love kids, and, you know, this job is really hard. Um, and so I, I, I applied thinking it wouldn't work out and it did. And I'm thankful it did because I'm in my fourth year now. So, and you're over at Bell. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so I actually originally was supposed to be, um, at, um, Ellettsville when I applied and then after they were like, well, you live in Martinsville. So just, why don't you just stay here? And after my interview at Martinsville, they were like, we need you here. So that's fantastic. Yeah, it's great. You must make a good impression then. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> well, I know you work with a relative of mine and we won't go into names, but yeah, she spoke very highly of you. So, well, I love she, her. She so has, that's good. That's, that's cool. Yeah. So now you're, you're, inter- you're doing, um, 
you're you're broadening your horizons even more so, mm-hmm. but locally now. Yeah, yeah. And tell us a little bit about Family First Success. Yes. So I am employed by Youth First, which is a nonprofit <clears throat> organization um, in Evansville, and they place social workers um, at schools all through Indiana. Uh, so I am placed at Martinsville, and Youth First works with uh, curriculum development or developers, sorry, um, and they do evidence-based programs. So there's study, there's uh, data, there's quantitative and qualitative evidence that these programs work, mm-hmm. um, and they choose these programs. So one of the programs that uh, Youth First uh, backs has backed for years is Family First Success, and so we've offered it in Morgan County, um, I, This I believe, I did it my first year. So I believe this is the fourth year of doing the program. So I facilitated the program quite a bit, actually. Sorry. Getting all sorts of messages at the same time. Oh, okay. Um, Family. I'm going to mess it up. Family first. Yes. It's going to, there's a sign up date. Go go into that a little bit about the sign up date and everything else. Yeah. So we actually pushed back the original date. So if you were, if you got a flyer or saw something from your children's school, we did change it. So it's February 24th through May 5th. Now, um, we are trying to get people signed up as soon as possible, just so we can get a count because we actually had to push it back because people are waiting till the last minute to register. Right. And we have to have, I mean, you get DVDs, you get a parenting booklet, um, resource booklet you get all kinds of stuff uh so we need to kind of have all that lined up and ready for when you join um so it's for any morgan county resident uh with 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 children um so that could be mooresville martinsville anywhere in between so kate and coriel on the east coast how you doing son (laughs) <laughs> nice. He's not my son, but he's my brother's son. Yeah. He's a pistol. I hadn't talked to him for a little bit. Um, I'm getting some weird texts, and, and people are like, didn't know you're going to be on, so it's my bad. Oh, but yeah. That's all right. I, I'm spacing out a little bit. Is it, is it, so it doesn't, it's not going through the school system? Um. Well, the school is not facilitating it this year, okay. I guess. So that's what's different about the years past, thanks to COVID. Um, so we used to, uh, yeah, we used to have the program in person. And so the way it works in person is the families all come together and we eat a homemade meal pretty much. Um, and that's in the cafeteria. It's face to face with your family. Everybody is like in their, their groups with their family. Hmm. And then once we finish that, the parents go to their session, the teenagers go to their session and then the children go to their session. And then there's childcare if there's little ones. Hmm. And then at the very end, everybody comes together and they do a family session all together and practice and talk about the things that they learned in their class and try to figure out how to make it actually practical and applicable for their family. So that has been hosted at Bell in the past um, in our cafeteria and things. And then um, when COVID hit, we tried to meet our audience where they were and kind of meet everybody where they were. Everybody in the world was doing Zooms, I feel like. So <laughs> we adapted. We did we Zooms too. That, so yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. So um, now just still um, until things get a little bit more, you know, eased up. And actually we even played around with the idea of going back to doing this in person, but zoom is very convenient to be honest. So we (laughs) try to offer both. So, yeah. yeah. So we are on zoom and it's just an hour long. That's it. Um, And it's just the parents right now, but you still get the materials that the kids would be getting. So you can still teach your kids and go over that skill with them that they would have learned. Just between us and the people watching, you think it's it's better hands on though face to face. Yeah, I mean, I really do. I I love the Hello, convenience Janet. of being at home. Yeah, <laughs> my cats love to make an appearance. Uh, you know, you <laughs> never know what you're gonna get, <laughs> but they try to steal the show. But definitely um, in person, hands on, I do like the best. But that's also my. Oh, I, I'm not gonna get political, but I've always said this that. The decay of our society started when we lost the family units. Mm-hmm. And and then and Haley says, Hi Nikki. Hi Haley. <laughs> Haley's a good gal. Yes. Um 
my dad wasn't the best dad on the planet. He's been gone a while. Mm -hmm. But some of the things that he did that I despised as a kid, mm -hmm. hated as a kid, we all ate out of the same plates every day. We all sat down for dinner every night. Mm -hmm. You ate your food. You you better have eaten all of it yeah. or else he's going to give you a reason not to want to sit. Oh, yeah. And I, I think back to those. And even I made the mistake with my kids. Hello, Jay. Uh, with my kids, I didn't do that. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure other people my age didn't do that. And they're not doing it now. Mm -hmm. But we've lost that family unit. And I've said that all along. Until we get that back, I don't know if we'll ever get off the path that we're spinning down right now. Yeah. And it's funny that this is the program that you're pushing. Yep. So. Yes. And that that is the thing that we talk about. Like, we, we start at the very beginning with some very, you know, everybody, when we do this program, everybody's like, okay, the discipline. Like, tell, yep. tell me the discipline. I'm like, well, we got to do all this other stuff first. So right. <laughs> it does lead into it. But they build off of each other in a way that is productive. So Hello, Teresa. you are sitting down and having these family dinners. Um, that's one of the big lessons that we harp on is the family meals um, and making that a priority a couple of times a week um, without giving you the lesson right now. Um, <laughs> I know we can, this, we can discuss I know, this I in know. depth because how do we, how do we get out of that? Yeah. I, I'm on a sidetrack yet, but you got to work 50 hours a week. Mm -hmm. Your husband has to work 50 hours a week. Mm -hmm. That kid's got choir and tennis lessons, and that one's got baseball and track lessons. Mm -hmm. Six o'clock, meal's not going to be ready. Yeah. And nobody's going to eat. Yeah. And that's what we do talk about those challenges because, I'm, I mean, the program, is we try to be as real as possible, and that's why we get feedback and things. Um, and what we found is doing it when you can. I mean, even if you have to start small and say, okay, three days a week and you know, two of those days are a Saturday, Sunday, and then right. whenever you can through it's the week, you know, better nothing. Yeah. Yeah. And just starting that or even just like, okay, kids, you guys sit down and have dinner and then I'll, you know, get to it right as soon as I finish this load of laundry or whatever, you know, but eventually leading into the actual time and trying to make that a priority because as busy as life is, your family has to be your priority with everything going on right now. Amen. And into that yeah. right now. Yeah. And, with, and, I, and like I said, I'm trying to walk, skirt the political side of it. Through all this, in my opinion, the kids are suffering the most. Oh, yeah. And some places still have the mandates. Mm -hmm. And some people insist that it still has to happen. Mm -hmm. um, I will be glad <laughs> when the kids can go back to being kids in school. And the worst thing you got to worry about is someone push someone on the playground. Yeah. Because I, there are already studies coming out that these the little ones are having trouble talking now mm -hmm. because they don't want to talk. They didn't have to, mm -hmm. you know, and developmental wise, this stuff has to happen. Yeah. So I, I'm, I didn't mean to. Oh, no, it's OK. <laughs> That's just... not covered in the program. But I, didn't... <laughs> right, right, I wasn't I didn't. prepared for that. No. <laughs> for those of you just watch the show, I tend to run my mouth sometimes <laughs> and I will let my political stuff hang out. But. <laughs> Not intentionally. We we try to stay straight and narrow. But <laughs> yeah, it's okay. <clears throat> yeah, I think that the um, the country, not probably the world itself, needs more of this right now than anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's I mean the biggest focus of the family. I know when everybody when I talk about this program, everyone's like, "Ooh, a parenting class like that." I don't. Do I need a parenting class? If I take this, I'm going to be saying I need like help parenting, um, or I I am a bad parent, um, which. I, I I am a foster mom. I have a teenager, and I will say they do not come with a guide, even um, even from my type of situation. So I had, anybody could use this because it is hard. You need all the help you can get. Um, you mean when they hand you the baby at the hospital, they don't give you a pamphlet? No, no. They sure don't. No. <laughs> they just laugh and say, see ya. Yes. Good luck. Yes. So I think that, like, the this program is for everyone. It's not for bad parents who need to get better. Um, it is It is truly for everyone. We have teachers that do it themselves because they've seen the positive impact on their students um, and their families who have gone through it. And we, I mean, we have everybody from the community do it um, at different times. Police families, I mean, just, just anyone. It doesn't have to be a bad parenting type situation. The whole focus is to create those strong bonds and strengthen that family unit and try to 
get through these hard times. So, I mean, being, being a parent's not easy. Being a kid it isn't easy. Like, none of it is. So, anything to help. You, you, you hit the nail on the head, especially now. Being a parent isn't easy, and being a kid sure as heck isn't easy. Yeah. With direction wise we know don't know what's going on anyway yes <laughs> yes i can make this political real quick <laughs> i think he's like please don't <laughs> yeah neutral states <laughs> for my company <laughs> hello pj anyway yes I, it's 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 a great cause mm-hmm. and, and a great deal and i wouldn't i myself wouldn't look at it as being a bad parent i think it's a way to strengthen strengthen the nucleus of your entire family yeah and and I don't know about anybody online, but you're never too old to learn. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I've been through divorce, I, I, and I've been down that road. And I can tell you, I wish someone, the Bible's a good way to start, but I wish someone could have handed me a pamphlet and said, hey, hey, silly, mm-hmm. follow this. Yeah. And, and, and try to stay within those guidelines. Yes, yes. And having other families that are going through the same things, I mean, I... Like I said, I'm I'm a foster parent to a teen. I don't do babies, so I might not be the best of you of questions about babies. Um, sorry to my nieces, um, but I I ha- there are other families on the program that can say things that have worked for them and things that you know haven't and give their insight too. It's not just me talking at the Zoom the whole time. Some nights it is, but <laughs> so you want you're looking for families too. You want families to sign up for this? Yeah, yeah. Uh, how much does it cost? It is free. That's our favorite word around here. Yes. And speaking of free, um, they also will get a free complimentary meal the there following you go. Even day. Even grandparents. So, yes, even grandparents. Yeah. Yeah. I actually even, I sent the flyer out to, um, you know, DCS as well because foster parents can use it for the accreditation. You know, parents that are trying to get their kids back, they can use it too. I mean, it's a good tool to try to help build those skills and restore that. Um, and yeah, we've had grandparents join as well so. well another byproduct of the area we live in mm-hmm. the p- grandparents are raising a lot of the kids mm-hmm. because the adults are, have gone through the meth and the mm-hmm. heroin and they're in bad shape and that's that's uh yeah. yeah yeah it is but that that is the good thing about this program it's good for anyone and it's free and the free meal the next day. So if you attend the Zoom class, because we're not doing the dinner in person, if you attend the Zoom class on Thursday, then on Friday, you get this free meal as well. Really? Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. How are you going to get them the free meal? I'm just being nosy. Uber Eats or what? <laughs> no. So, um, like a discount card somewhere? <laughs> yeah. We, um, we've actually <clears throat> had to get pretty creative uh, when some of the facilitators have been quarantined and things like that. So pizza delivery is a good option those <laughs> nights. Um, but the facilitator, um, so it's myself and Jennifer Green. She's a teacher in Morrisville. I was going to ask who's all involved. Yes. So she and I will be teaching. Um, and so she or I will meet you at the restaurant of the choice that night. Um, and then, so we'll meet you guys there. We'll have it already ordered and ready. And so we pick it up and then we just hand it through your window at your car. Well, that's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. And if transportation is a barrier, there are also ways to work around that. So if transportation is an issue... Don't let that stop you. We um, have some resources too. So now I want to back it up again. Yes. Now your junior year, sophomore year of high school, did you ever think you would be doing reaching so many people's affecting so many people's lives in such a positive way, not only in this country, but in Jamaica? Yeah. You you didn't see this coming, did you? No. Uh that was always like I guess my goal. I even in high school and middle school, I always wanted to help people, but I was kind of a brat back then, and I didn't really like know how, so I didn't really know if it would be possible. Does Tom know you're a brat? I want to. Oh, he he does. He does <laughs> or did <laughs> not anymore. So you, you, the seed was in there planted yeah. to help. Yes, but to actually be achieving that and doing some of the things that I dreamed about back then is really crazy. And I never, no offense to Martinsville, but I never wanted to come back because. Like I said, I, I don't like winter. I don't like the snow. This outside Amen. is terrible. Amen. I know. <laughs> so I was never going to come back just for the weather alone. Um, so, but even to be back and just seeing um, the different strides in Martinsville, and um, you know, seeing different family patterns and seeing you know different family generational curses broken, it's just really crazy. And to see 
that there people are accepting of this program and of you know the mental health strides that are taking place is just really nice. We're lacking in that department throughout the land. Yeah, mental health centers and help, <laughs> yes. and, and that's uh, that's cost in this country mm-hmm. big time right now. Yeah. Once they closed all the facilities mm-hmm. and removed all the help, mm-hmm. it, it's just created a larger mess than what they th- I think they realized. Yeah. So. Your store is very inspirational. I want to tell you that. Thank you. And it's it's amazing. And I'm not knocking any young people online tonight, but at the age that you are, you know you're supposed to be playing video games till 3 in the morning <laughs> and then doing nothing. Yeah. And, and then saying... Like, why would I work? I'm collecting my check. Yeah. And that's, you're not doing that. No. A lot of your work is for free, probably outside of the country. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot out of, of paperwork that I uh, do, don't do on the clock either. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A lot of it is, but you know, that's, that's what keeps me going. That's my heart. If I were doing anything else, I would be miserable. So, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I I can attest to that. Uh, we we all get some majority of us get put in a position for a job where, hey, here's where I'm going to work, not my path I wanted to go. Mm-hmm. Oh, thirty years later, I'm still doing this. What am I doing? Yeah. What am I doing? Yeah. So, yeah, and I think that I, I say this all the time. Social work is so hard. I I have my master's in social work, and that's what my license is in. Mm-hmm. Um, and obviously. Everybody knows that the pay is not great in this field, but like, even with that, I wouldn't change anything. It it is so hard, but I, I can't see myself doing anything else. I joke a lot about how it would be nice to just, you know, live on the beach and, you know, do whatever. But I, I feel like I would get bored of that too. (laughs) So (laughs) I let um, let that build up for about 15 years old before I got bored with it. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I do. I wouldn't change it. I love it. So Well, I'm going to throw this out there, and I know you've gone to Jamaica, mm-hmm. but we have a gentleman that we're involved with, and he's a sponsor of the show. Yeah. He's a wonderful human being. He's been on here. He has stories like you. As a matter of fact, when he was on air, it's Larry Ralph Sr. He mm-hmm. called um, his buddy, one of, one of his buddies in Haiti. Mm-hmm. And the guy answered the phone while we were live. Oh, he goes, that's great. I bet you he'll be on his moped. And we called him, and you could hear his moped running in the background. So Larry is well connected down there, yes. and uh, he's looking to do. He he wants to take another trip down there soon. Mm-hmm. And I will throw your name in the in the ring. So yes. Larry, this guy right here, yeah, is I'd love to. That uh, that no, a I hate flying. <laughs> if I can boat there, maybe. Yeah, but that's a haul. No, but yeah. I'd love to. My dad might come after you for that, but. <laughs> I don't, don't want Tom, have any more ideas. I was gonna say I don't want Tom mad at me. He <laughs> helped us out a great deal. Livewire. If you don't know who Tom is, he uh, he's helped us out on the ch- uh, the chili cookoffs, the Christmas tree lightings, the the Bobby Home Spectacular, uh, everything we do. Um, we we call Tom up, and you know what? I think we've tried to pay the man, and we have to stick <laughs> gift cards in his hands to yeah. to get him to even take anything because yeah. uh, I know where you get it from. Yeah, yeah, he's a. <laughs> He's a good man. Yeah, and my parents are awesome. Okay, yeah, so. they uh, there for a while when we used to go set the tent up at the Thursday concerts. Mm-hmm. We'd always sit next to them, and so yeah. uh, I'd see you come in and talk, and then you'd go away. I was like, yeah, she's off on another venture somewhere. So <laughs> yep. good yep. stuff. So, um, you plan on going back to Jamaica anytime soon? Hopefully. Um, so CDA there is is the equivalent of DCS here. Um, So CDA is pretty protective of the kids in the orphanage, which I'm thankful for, but also it puts a strain on guests. Um, So they are really strict on the guests that they're allowing in and out um, at the moment to Mm -hmm. make sure these kids aren't getting sick. Um, So I don't really know. I am hoping this summer. How's the Rona situation down there? Ah, I don't really know that either. I, I don't know. I, I don't really know everything that I see, but um, I will say, though, there's some good news. There is a little boy who had been there since he was a baby, and he, I just saw a post yesterday from his new mom, and oh, he is a wow. teen now. 
all. So he grew up in the orphanage and he will be adopted into the U.S. They arrive tomorrow, not to Indiana. But. So you stay in contact with a lot of mm-hmm. Yeah. And one's I coming try. to the States. Yes. That's fantastic. Yes. And their families. So, yeah, it is good. So are you in touch with the family? Um, with his, yes. And actually even some of... Uh, so it's it's Robin's Nest Children's Home in Jamaica. And so they have, um, like, the main house, and they have what they call Jake's house. Mm-hmm. And Jake's house is, like, older boys, mm-hmm. preteen boys. Um, and so there are a couple of boys that were preteen when I was there, and they have been adopted to the U.S., um, mostly mm, further west uh, of here. But so they've been adopted to the U.S., and now, I mean, they're – full-blown teenagers with social media and they'll, you know, message me on Instagram and be like, Hey, how's it going? And things like that occasionally. So it's just really crazy how that's come full circle. Trish, I have a good friend that does Doctors Without Borders. She takes multiple trips to Haiti all her such lessons. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, that's great. I don't mean to get sidetracked. I just think you you have a very fascinating story and it all ties together. Mm -hmm. Um, How many families can you do in the program is there a certain number of slots to be filled or there is um it's a free program y'all it is it is um so i i think like ideally around 12 would be our goal yeah Yeah, um just a couple of you gals doing it yeah so okay six six and i mean with zoom there's even more flexibility so if y'all want to blow this out of the water we can on zoom (laughs) so that makes it better than trying to do it in person (laughs) i can tell you this we had eight on here one night Messing around yeah. and uh, you know, the zoom calls get crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, I, there's a mute all button for a reason. No, I'm just right. <laughs> the, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm way off track here, but um, there's a tick tock of a, it's a hearing and a judge is holding the zoom call. Mm-hmm. So, both lawyers, both both clients, and they, they all have their own little windows, you know, mm-hmm. zoom windows. Well, one of the attorneys is an older gentleman, you can tell by his talking. And when he pops on screen, it's a cat's face. <laughs> I have. Seen have you that seen that? Yes, yes. And the attorney goes, "I'm trying, judge. I'm not a cat." <laughs> the guy's like, "I know you're not a cat." Yeah. But every time he moved his eyes, the cat's eyes were moving. I was like, "Oh, somebody please help that man." Oh, that's great. So yeah, I'm like, next time we get to zoom, we do zoom. Oh yeah. Here, I'm messing with it now. Yeah, we, we definitely do. have some troubleshooting too. We're the stereotypical people that are like, "Wait, can you guys see my screen?" <laughs> right. Like, yeah. Right. But we are getting better, you know, all the Zooms. Until uh, the next Zoom, yeah. and then it's all different. I know. So. Yeah. Well, um, have anything else to add? Do you want to say, what if I wanted to get a hold of you? How would I get a hold of you? Yeah. So if you are interested in registering for the program or learning more about it, um, there is a website. If you type in Youth First, um, it'll pull you right up. Uh to their website pretty much. Uh, But also if you are wanting to connect with me directly, you can uh, call or text my work phone um, for my students out there thinking they're going to prank call me. No, uh, (laughs) this is my work phone. Um, 317-204-3860. Or my email is in for Nikki walls at youthfirstinc.org. Yeah. No pranking that number. Yeah. <laughs> That's your work phone. Yes, yes. Looking at you, kid, kids. My <laughs> oldest group are freshmen, so that oh, would have put it past really? them. Yeah. They were sixth graders my first year there, so. So now they're freshmen. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I, I still, I, I, I'm really, I, this might shock you, but I'm really bad with, like, letting people go. So I still stay in contact with, um, you know, that. some of my kids, and I'm like, Hi, <laughs> how's it going? <laughs> so, I'm sure you're well liked. Um, Sometimes uh, you work with Jess, though, and that's why I'm like, yes. she, she, no, that's my niece, and there's <laughs> no way, no way, yeah. Uh, she's got a little gal that uh, is a spitting image of her, yeah. And I told her tonight, I said, remember all the times you're mean to us now. Yeah. Paybacks are coming. Yeah. So, and her birthday is tomorrow, right? She'll yes, be eight. Eight, eight years yeah. old. Birthday like, shout yes. out. <laughs> uh, I'll have to call her. I just, as a matter of fact, she was, uh, they were at the grocery store when I called earlier. Oh, nice. And uh, she's like, is that Uncle Kevin? So <laughs> she, and uh, she came up and spent a lot of time with us a few summers ago when we were out knocking on doors. Mm-hmm. And uh, she had a blast. So yeah, good awesome. people. You're amazing. You do a lot of good Thanks. things. Um, you have a flyer 
the the one flyer you sent me yes is the date correct on that one i know you had changed it no i have the updated one right here though so well i screenshot it to you but i can send you the actual pdf that's fine yeah. i just want to take it and i'll just copy that and put it on porch time oh, okay and um talk it up a little bit yeah and that'd maybe be you'll great. get a few families because yeah. uh like I said, normally our Thursday show is, uh, I call the Hour of Hope. Mm -hmm. And what better of thing of hope is bringing a family tighter, closer together. Yes. And that's, I think it's vital nowadays yeah. in this time and frame. Yeah. You do, you got hard work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do. But I love it, so. And that's not just for the camera. I would tell you that if we were off, too. Right. No, I think you're pretty authentic. <laughs> you, yeah. you're, you're, you're a grounded individual. Um you don't fly all the way to Jamaica faking it and, and stay there. Yeah. Because I'm not kidding you. She's, she's underscoring the greasy hair. How many showers? How, how long were you there? Um, a semester, so probably about four months. Showers, how many? But you can count them on one hand, couldn't you? <laughs> yeah, maybe. I was in the jungle for 45 days, and I washed my head, body out of a pot until we built a shower. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. And that's why we kept our hair shaved. Yeah. This, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And see, a lot of a lot of gals, they could not do that. Um, and a lot of guys couldn't do that. But yeah. that's not easy. No, it's not. And let me th let me guess. Scorpions, killer bees, army ants, poisonous bats. Let me tell you, cockroaches. That was yeah, they got the my biggins. worst. <laughs> yes. Oh, my goodness. That was... The worst. It was. Oh, I could still can't even. As I said, there's things that we take for granted here. <laughs> yeah. That not far for what was it a three hour flight? Uh, two. Yeah, it's yeah. it's not bad. Not far at all because mm -hmm. Panama, I think, was two from Louisiana. Mm -hmm. Um, not far from here. There's people living in conditions that we'd be like, oh my word, mm -hmm. how do they do this? Yeah. Local washing machine. Where was it at? The yeah. creek. Uh, they did have a washer down in in the town, probably right. Or did no, they have one we, on the site? we did have one on site, but um, it was you know you had to make sure you were using it appropriately, and it was had to be after we knew we were about to have a truck of water up, so you couldn't waste like drinking water because they bust water up. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And I will tell you, my my roommate and I, we always struggled we always pick the worst laundry days we'd be like okay it looks good we got this we'd wash it and then we put it out on the line and then phew, rain Downpour. yeah so we were terrible <laughs> at picking laundry days but, but those memories you'll never forget oh, no. and you and you stayed in touch with them obviously yeah you you changed the life of uh, lots of little guys down there and gals i guess yeah so and you're ready to go back and you're gonna go to haiti yeah i'm telling you if larry goes yeah tom i'm sorry but <laughs> This whole mm -hmm. circle of um, Hour of Hope and, and Larry and now Nikki, there's reasons why things like this happen. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm 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 extending the olive branch to you saying, hey, we're going to pull you in here on times because <laughs> we do some fundraisers. Yeah. Um, we're, we're a little rough around the edges at times, as yeah. you may have known. <laughs> um, but uh, I know your dad. I know your brother. So yeah. you, you deal with people like me. So oh, yeah. uh, I think you would fit in nicely with some of the stuff we do in your your. You're, you're just very, your whole story is inspirational. So. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Anyone have any questions or comments they would like to ask Nikki before we keep 40 minutes? See, look at oh, that. Yeah. Time flies. See, I said I wasn't going to talk long, but I, I did better than I thought. You did great. <laughs> you, you, she was nervous a little bit. I was. I was. <laughs> I'm gonna have Jessica watch this tonight. And be like, <laughs> tell yeah, she can give me. Well, I have training tomorrow, so she can't even give me a hard time. Oh, yeah. that's good. All right. Well, you want to add anything? Do we miss anything? Anything you want to touch on? I don't think so. <laughs> get a hold of you, or get a hold of me if you want to be involved with it. Yeah, I can push push them to you. Yep. And uh, we'll go from there and see what happens. Um, and this you do this yearly now. Yes. Yeah, and so we actually had a program in the fall, so this would actually be our second one this year. Okay. Mm -hmm. So keep us informed. Um, yeah. I I any changes or anything like that? Okay. That come up, and mm -hmm. um, we can get user site. I don't know if you. She's a ball player. Oh, oh no! Don't don't make people think <laughs> I'm athletic because I'm not. Actually, we had a dodgeball competition today with um, one of the communities that won their award and 
you if you have a fifth or well if you have a fifth grader in red community <laughs> just ask them about me <laughs> no i'm really not athletic at all i played softball for a while really? with uh, wendy's daughter yes and i okay i like that but i did not continue i coached softball forever oh nice yeah, yeah. um literally forever it yeah. seemed like but Keep us in, keep us informed of what yep. what you got going on, and um, let us know if there's change or anything. Anything we can do to help, mm-hmm. use our site. Post your images, post your flyers. I'm going to do that one tonight. Okay. And post it. Um, don't be afraid to ask us questions. And then when we start doing some um, stuff, we we have um, we have a golf tournament coming up. We do a sponsor a scholarship. Mm-hmm. We have a golf thing come event coming up in April, mm-hmm. and then we have a cancer survivor day. Shave for the Brave and a benefit. I think it's June 4th and 5th. Okay. So that might be something you want to do. For, yeah. Come and hang out with us. And, yeah. Um, we do a lot of fun with that. And then Bethany, Bethany was Shave for the Brave is uh, money for St. Baldrick's okay. Ghost Children Cancer Research. Mm-hmm. So, and we get all this cut off finally. Nice. So, and we'll let this mop grow until then. Nice. Anyway, Nikki, it's been a pleasure. Yeah. Um, I knew a little bit about you. Mm-hmm. I knew your dad, know your brother. Um, you were off always gallivanting, but I get that completely. I've got three young daughters. Yeah. So, and just very ins- inspiring. And uh, the world needs people like you. You, I'm putting pressure on there, but do you, you understand that? Yeah. This The world nowadays needs people like you, especially at such a young age. Um, and I'm sure you still get carded, so... <laughs> Yeah, well, my students would tell you different. Right, I'm, I'm very old to them. So. Yeah, right. They have <laughs> yeah. no clue. So. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get out of here. Um, get a hold of Nikki if you want to be involved in the program. If you have any questions, message me or message her. I'll push to her, and we'll go from there. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Thank you for coming in, and uh, we're going to jump out of here. And uh, tonight, Thursday. Yeah. Oh, real quick, I want to say we have a very special Sunday show coming up. Um. Super Bowl, Super Bowl preview. I don't know if I can even say Super Bowl on the air, so I'll call it Big Game Preview. But it's going to be Caleb and Joe Coriel is going to be in studio, so that'll be fun. I'm sure you know both those. I do, I do. Yeah. Really interesting. <laughs> Total opposite ends of the spectrum here between what we're doing now and those two. But it'll be fun. They're going to do a lot of fun stuff, and we're going to go about an hour and a half uh, and preview the game and go from there. Love you guys. I'll probably be back on between now and then. You guys have a wonderful Thursday night. Have fun tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. Let's get through it. We'll see you guys soon.